Say, 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 mommy, if you came here today to insult me, if they sent you to me today, tell them that you have not seen me. Yeah. Oh, my friend, how far? My dear, I'm fine. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I'm good. All is fine. Thank you. Ah, uh, I hope all is well with you too. No, I'm fine. All is well. I'm so happy to see you. So happy you came to visit me today. Oh. Mm? I tell you, so let me come this side today. Oh. Mm -hmm. We thank God. Oh. Before I even forget, how are your brothers? My brothers? Oh, you mean Tom, Tom and John? Who was your brothers? Say, of course, Tom and John. I even saw John the other day in your room. That's why I didn't remember to ask you how, how they are. Huh? I'm sure they are fine, I guess. I really don't know and I don't care. What? I don't understand. How can you be say that? I mean what I say, I don't know and I don't care. What? Like, I'm not even talking to any of them. What do you mean? I don't get. I say I'm not talking to any of them. Why would you say a thing like that? Why? What those two people have done to me, I don't even want, I don't even want to talk about it because if I, each time I think about it, my blood is just boiling. I feel like strangling the both of them. How, how can we be in a family? Only the three of us. Hmm? Three of us. I am their elder sister. Those two boys, they cannot regard me as their elder sister. In what way, my sister? Good question. In what way? I'll tell you in what way. Do you even know? Where do I even start from? It's a very long story. How many children does my brother Tom have? Three children. How many children does my brother John have? Two children. My sister. How many children do I have? I have five children. Okay. That is not the problem. Hmm? Tom is in the US with his wife. Eh? They are enjoying themselves every time. Enjoying themselves. Hmm? Talk about John. John is there in Yaoundé with his wife. They are having a good time. They have money every day. I see them. Hmm? They are enjoying themselves. Hmm. But they cannot assist me with any one of my children. Hmm? How fair is that? Okay. John has only two children. And he's very rich. His wife is rich. Working class people. But they cannot help me to... to, to, to. To, to give to assist any of my children. I even beg my brother John on my knees eh, to take my last child and even just help me to sponsor him in school. You know what John told me? Hey, my house is too small. I cannot be able to sponsor him. He be too big for me. Be the big house he's having there. Since that time, I just put him on blacklist. I don't even want to talk to him. So they cannot support my own children. Eh? How, what kind of brothers are those? My dear, if I may ask, how do you know that your brother is enjoying? Hmm? Your brother is in the US, eh? and the other one is in your home. How do you know that, he, that they are enjoying? You are not there with them, so what is the criteria you use to know that they are enjoying? Can you ask me how I know that they are enjoying? Hmm? How do I know they are enjoying? Am I not seeing Tom's pictures on, on, on Facebook? Eh? Everywhere, Facebook, Instagram, I see him there. He's in the US with the wife, they are enjoying you, those people. Eh? The last time I saw, they say, hey, I'm on my way to New York City. I'm on my way to, 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 to Dallas, Texas. I'm on my way to this, 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 this. And you say he's not enjoying. Ah, oh, we just bought a new car. Eh, my wife and I, eh, just signed a new contract. Eh, my wife and I, we just bought a house. And you tell them that I'm not enjoying. Okay. He's there, enjoying with his wife. John is there, enjoying with his wife. I am here, suffering with my children. Hmm? When I even call Tom, he will not even pick my calls. When he picks the calls, he doesn't even want to talk now with me. Okay? I just had to blacklist them. What kind of people are those? They don't want to take care of my own children. I, I don't know their nieces and nephews. Since the thing is paining me. I mean, right inside my heart. Deep inside my heart, it is paining me. Okay? So they cannot take care of my children. My sister, I beg you, calm down, calm down. My sister, I beg, I beg, I beg. David, David, tell me to There's no coming down in this matter. For, or did I commit a crime by marrying a poor man? Eh? I followed my heart to marry the man I love. If he's not having money and my brothers are capable, why should they not help me? Why should I be suffering with children you I have rich brothers? Eh? I just had to block all of them and stop talking to any of them. If they, if they care, they should enjoy with them. They, they should enjoy the money that they, that they are having. I don't care anymore. It doesn't seem any way better. They should watch and see. My children will be big people tomorrow. Wait, you will see. You will hear my story. Just wait. Then, can I ask you something? Hmm? Before calling your brother Tom, 
in the US. Do you used to check the time? Like the time difference before calling him. I don't know. I don't really know it. I don't know it. I'm not sure if I used to check the time. It's, I don't I do not used to check the time before calling. I just used to call him. Hmm? You see the problem, right? You don't check the time. Maybe he's busy. You're calling him. Maybe he's at work or he's busy. Eh? You need to check before you call him. Who's busy? Busy where? So if he's busy, he cannot tell he, he he thinks I'm calling him to beg for money. My sister, I beg, tell me something else. I don't know. I don't want to hear that. Busy. Who's he who is he busier than? You see, you see the president of, of America. Eh? Who is he busier than? I beg, leave me that thing first. Saying that. I'm just asking like you need to check to be sure that he is not busy. You need to check the time, compare the time with your own time to know whether you can call him or not. That's all. So you mean to tell me that he doesn't see my missed calls? Or when he sees my call, can he not call me back? Which busy? I've just blacklisted him because he doesn't care, care about me. So I don't also care about him. Let everybody be at their own corner. I think it's for the better. Okay, okay, let's talk about something. It's not my brother. My dear, just tell me to ask you a few questions, okay? You know, John is in the with his kids. Have you ever like bought gifts for his children? Eh? Or have you ever taken like have you ever bought anything for his children? I don't need to, to be buying gifts for, for, for the children. They are pretty rich enough, they have enough. Yes, we take care of me because I don't have I don't have, but you may have something little. In a little thing like when you go to his house to pay him a visit, you can buy something even small, significant for the children. And secondly, my sister, if you permit me, let me say this. Hmm? You know the thing with this social media, how do you know that your brother's really enjoying it? Eh? I'm seeing them every day on Facebook. They are rich. What are you telling me? Yes, okay, you see on social media, but this social media, eh, it can be very deceptive. Like, okay, if you go to all your pictures and your posts on, on Facebook, have you ever posted any sad situation? You are saying that you and your husband are facing hardships. But do you go on social media and show it? Of course you don't go and show it. So, it's the same thing that your brothers are doing. Everyone does it. They go to Facebook to post their happy moments. He may post a happy moment, but you don't know what he's going through. So it's wrong for you to base your judgment of your brother based on what you've seen on social media. Hmm? When you call him, do you even ask him how he's doing? Or do you check on him to see if he's financially stable? All those kind of things. That is the way you can get to know that he's, he's rich. Not that you look at Facebook or Instagram and you see their post and then you judge that they are doing fine. If you see now, that means they can also see your post and see that you are doing fine. So if you don't take care of your children, you don't have to be angry. You understand? Eh? That's, how it's, that's how it works. It's wrong for you to see social media and, and judge people's happiness or riches based on what is there because nobody comes to post that they in public. Nobody comes to Facebook or to say that that's something. Everybody's living a good life. That is social media life. That's very true. Uh, do not really reason need that way. But Master, I see not an excuse. Eh? If you see those pictures, so you, you, you yourself, you will convince me, my dear sister. Let me tell you something. Hmm? Before people give birth to their children, hmm? when you are giving birth to your children, it's your responsibility to think about how you're going to be taking care of that children. You understand? Before bringing birth, giving birth to your children, you should know how you have the financial means to take care of your children. So. If your brothers take care of your children, my dear, you should be grateful. If they do not, you don't have to be angry with them. It is not their responsibility. They owe it to you as a sister out of love that they can send you money for your children's upkeep. But if they do not, my dear, it's wrong for you to be angry. Before you bring for your child, think about how you have to, you and your husband, you have to think about the well-being of your children. They also have their own families to take care of. It doesn't even matter if they are rich or not. They also have their families to look after. It's wrong, my sister, for you to be angry with your brothers because they are not taking care of your children. You have your husband, you're alive. You need to work hard to take care of your children and not get angry at your brother for taking for not taking care of your children. See, 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 mommy, if you came here today to insult me, if they sent you to me today, tell them that you have not seen me, you hear me. You are not taking sides with my brothers. So... Is it not their responsibility to take care of their nieces and their nephews? If I was in their position, you think I would also take care of, of their own children? It's just because I'm the one on the, I'm the victim here. That is why. I'm not opposing you. Neither am I taking sides with your brothers. I'm just bringing it to your realization and the fact that it is wrong for you to be angry with your brothers because they're not taking care of your children. It's okay, my dear. I've heard you. I've heard you best. See, you see, my son. 
nothing will change from this time as, 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 as long as I, you see those my two brothers that are out blacklist i mean i want i don't even consider that i have younger brothers again let me support my children you will see what my children will become tomorrow so i'm sorry if i made you angry but that is the fact even if you don't accept my friend that is reality that that is a reality that you need to accept remember you guys only to in your family make peace with your brothers you and your husband should rather try to work harder to take care of your children so that you will not be bearing god just against all that it will be so i say it will be so you hear me let's be so thank you very much i've heard you you can now go we'll see another time i don't want to talk about this thing because it will make me angry I'm not, I'm not insulting you, I'm just teasing the fast left. I'm sorry, okay, I'll take my leave now. No sense. Yeah, the one that wants to come and tell me who to be angry with or not, who not to be angry with. As if your own family is perfect. I beg, you people. Brothers, I cannot take care of their nieces and nephews. That thing is paining in my heart, I will never forgive me. Hi everybody, thank you so much for watching that video. I hope you get the message behind this video. Now there are two major points I want to emphasize on here. Number one, social media. Like this is something I've, I've watched many families face today. Let me start by this issue, social media. The truth is that nobody comes to social media to post their suffering. Everybody wants to look good on social media. Everyone wants to put their best on social media. The people don't come to expose their troubles on social media and because of that some people might judge them based on what they see but the truth is that everything is not what it seems you might see like it looks good and all rosy but it might not be all good and rosy it's wrong to judge from that like what you see on social media like wow this person really enjoying wow this person really having a good time behind those pictures you don't know what is there you don't know the things that are there just passing through in their lives you don't know the thing that goes on in their lives so it's wrong to base your judgment on pictures or what you see on social media now the second point these two are interconnected because it's all about family i have as well watched many families fall apart why because why because some people feel like this member of my family my brother or my sister is rich and they are not helping my kids now the truth of the whole matter is this let us learn to reason it this way. If you have your children, you gave birth to your children, and your brothers or your sisters do not take care of your children, especially if you are still alive, and your brothers or sisters do not take care of your children, or you say they are not giving support for your children, you do not have any right to be angry. Why do I say so? Before you bring a child into the world, you should check your capability. Am I able to take care of this child? Or am I giving birth to my children, relying on others to take care of them? People also have their responsibilities. People also have things they are going through in their lives. People also have their own children to take care of. If out of the kindness of their heart, they take care of their children, it's, 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 it's okay. But it is very, very wrong for you to be angry with somebody because they do not take full responsibility for your children. It is a mentality that has eaten us up a lot, but it is not right. It is all shades of wrong. People need to learn this and people need to learn it big time. If somebody, your brother or your sister does not directly take care of your child, you do not have any right to be angry. You should rather just be grateful that they show concern and take care of the children. But if they do not, it's wrong to be angry. Because you don't bring for your children to this world so for others to take care of them. You see some people having four, five, six, seven children. And then when their siblings don't take care of them, they become angry. When you are giving birth to your children, think about it. How am I going to feed these children? How am I going to fend with these children? You start having problems with people up and down because they are not sending money for your children. So it is wrong. Let us be grateful when people make an effort to help us. And when they do not, we should accept it and try to find ways to raise our children ourselves. Bring for children that you know you'll be able to take care of. Don't bring for children rely on others to take care of them for you. That is the message I am passing out here. If your brother or your sister takes care of your children, be grateful. If they do not take care of your children, then you learn how to take care of your children. I hope this inspires someone to learn to be independent and bring for children that you know you're sure you can take care of. It's different in cases where the children do not have parents. It is 
understanding. But no man, your children are very much, your parents are very much alike, and you keep relying on your brothers or sisters to take care of your children because you feel like you are too rich to take care of your children. It is wrong. I hope you can all learn something from this. I hope this inspires somebody. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.